Hello my dear students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing about molality. Now, before I talk about molality, let me quickly talk about something. Now, molality is actually a concentration unit and it is temperature independent. So, it means that temperature does not affect molality. Meanwhile, molality is given to be numbers of moles of salt over kg of solvent. Now, molality. Molality is given to be number of moles of solute over kg of solvent. You know, kg of solvent here, we're talking about the mass of the solvent. Meanwhile, bringing, simplifying this formula, molality becomes something like this. Okay, okay, before I talk about that, what is number of moles of solute? Number of moles of solute is given to the mass over molar mass. Okay, now that is number of moles of solute, whereby kg of solvent is talking about the mass of the solvent. Okay, that's kg of solvent. So it simply becomes something like this molarity, molarity rather. Okay, will now be equal to the number of moles of solute which is given to the mass over molar mass. Okay, we say mass over molar mass dividing kg from this equation now of solvent kg of solvent so bringing this formula down make it making it simplified it becomes something like this mass over molar mass okay divide kg of solvent over one kg of solvent okay over one so molality will not be equal to this mass over molar mass okay times because we change the divide sign so multiplication so we get one over kg of solvent so they are going to interchange so it becomes kg of solvent meanwhile we should all know that in chemistry our mass should be in grams not in kilograms so we simply convert the mass from kg to grams by adding 1000 so it becomes something like this Finally, molality is equal to mass times 1000 over molar mass, okay, times grams of solvent, okay, grams of solvent. So this is the final formula for solving molality because our mass should be in grams not in kilograms according to chemistry so from this same equation we we'll get another formula which is molality if you could recall from all concepts mass over molar mass gives us number of moles so molality simply n which is number of moles times 1000 over grams of solvent okay grams of solvent so this is simply different formulas for solving molality meanwhile let's talk about the first question now let's quickly talk about this question on molality now the question says a solution is prepared by dissolving 25 grams of methanol in 100 grams of water now this says 
calculate the molality. Now, molality is simply this. Molality, the formula for molality is given to be mass of solute. Okay? Times 1000 over molar mass of solute still times mass in grams of solvent. Now, looking at these two compounds given in the question, methanol is the solute and water is the solvent. So let's impute our parameters. Before we get into the let's quickly calculate the molar mass of methanol. Okay, it's simply 12 plus 3, okay, plus 16 plus 1. Because the atomic mass of uh, carbon here is 12, hydrogen is 3, oxygen is 16, and hi uh, hydrogen again is what number 1. So 12 plus 3 that's 15 plus 16 that's 31. And plus one that's 32 so we get 32 grams per mole now let's impute our parameters molarity equals mass of solute the solute is meter now so this is the mass 25 grams times 1000 over molar mass of solute which is given to be 32 grams per mole times mass of solvent the solvent is water so the mass is 100 grams okay on the of that will get 7.12 sorry 7.8125 molar not molar because you can see it is molarity so it is molar or mole per kg so this is the assignment for molarity and I believe now we now understand the concept about molarity. Thanks for watching.